Let me see, let me see here. Make sure the stream is solid and good. Oh, the Nintendo and Super Nintendo apps on the Switch are getting a couple more games added. I'll have to check that out later. Oh, oh, oh. showing me a slide. There we go. Alright. Now I'm going to continue here in the Aegon Wastes for Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. It's been a long time since I played this one in particular, so there's a lot I do not remember. This time around, I didn't lose the Morph Ball functionality. Yoink. Okay. Blue root tree, highly poisonous plant form. Herbal tree with venomous leaves found on several worlds in desert climate zones. game volume up a little so I can hear. There we go. Oh, I guess I'm not going this way. No, I already scanned the uh, sand bats. Okay, so there's more out there to explore at the moment. I've got to play really careful for this playthrough because this is hyper mode and Metroid Prime 2 is infinitely a lot more difficult than Metroid Prime 1. Still can't read that. Duh. Dora uses a sonic security system. Sonic detection gear needed to interface with this system. Door is receiving commands via sonic beam. The commands are keeping it shut, destroying the sonic beam. Emitters may open the door. Which I don't think we can actually do without the sonic beam, which is very, very, very late game. But as much as I don't remember of Metroid Prime 2, I remember Metroid Prime 3 even less. So it's going to be fun going through these games again. Now if only I could find a way to stream them. 
My 3DS. Got some interesting games on there that we can play. Nothing I can do here at the moment. I need my morph ball bomb to do something there. Oh hell. I know that music. Space pirates. Ah oh, shit. Pirate Trooper, Starfaring Brigand. Aggressive, well armed bioform, trained for combat and conquest. Sworn enemy of Samus Aran. Space Pirates suffered a ser serious defeat at Talon IV, yet they remain a powerful force for crime and disorder in the galaxy. Their technology continues to advance, even the lowly trooper has received numerous upgrades to his arsenal. A photonic power scythe and quantum assault cannon are now standard issue weapons for all troopers. Now, we are only so strong. Hmm. Whoop. Bioscan complete. Luminous subject terminated. 1.9 decacycles ago. Target has a number of wounds caused by small explosions, most likely delivered by a portable rocket or grenade system. Cool. More missiles. Definitely need that. Structural analysis complete. Industrial solar lens, part of a system used to open a portal to Dark Aether. Portal Dynamo offline. Configure lens system to focus solar panel on Dynamo. This will energize the system. And I presently do not have a way to do so. Targets in a state of dimensional flux and able to completely scan bomb slot target. 50% of its component atoms are in another dimension or on the surface of dark aether. Yeah, okay. Nothing we could do here yet. Just got done playing some Destiny 2, and like I thought, it was a... Ah, oh, shit. More wasps again.
What is this dude? A brisky, venomous insectoid, poison stinger concealed in back mounted shell. Finish it off quickly once the stinger is exposed. Brisky's tail ends in a venomous barb, which it conceals underneath a hard packed layer of fused sand. A series of sharpened ridges along its body discourages most predators. Those foolish enough to harass the brisky are quickly introduced to its deadly sting. Destroyed war wasp hives. Can't interact with that yet. Let's see what's over here. Sorry, I kind of mean to leave you without a shell, huh? Object analysis complete. This is a statue of the Chur child hero of Aegon. Once a lowly acolyte squire, he became a warrior when the temple was attacked. All warriors but the Chur were slain, leaving the boy as sole defender of the temple. He served Aegon for nearly a cent cycle before being lost in battle on Dark Aether. So he was a young Luminoth. Woo, I see you guys. Shriek Bat. Territorial flying rodents. Rapid flying explosive enemies. Target and eliminate enemy at range if possible. Shriek Bats have high internal temperatures, leading them to seek cool climates to dwell in. They prefer caverns, roosting on ceilings while hunting for small prey. Fiercely territorial, they dive bomb anything that wanders near. This attack is fatal for the Shriek Bat as the impact sets off a discharge of thermal energy. alloy, so more fall bomb. Light beam, I guess. A lot of light and dark going on in this game, so light beam, dark beam, sonic beam. Alpha Sand Digger, large tunneling bioform, extremely well armored, target exposed eyes to damage this creature. This appears to be a Sand Digger pack leader, larger and stronger than normal members of its kind. Target both of its heads to damage it. I think this one is. Ah, fuck, here we go. Getting corrupted. Ooh. Oh, now he just looks awesome. Morphology Bomb Guardian. Bomb dropping Darkling. Enemy is utilizing your Morph Ball Bomb unit. Although its armor is strong, its tail is exposed when moving. Its mouth can be hit when glowing. Okay. This Darkling Sand Digger has absorbed the ability to generate Morph Ball Bombs. It can throw bombs with considerable accuracy and frequently lays a spread of bombs in its wake. Its head and tail are the only vulnerable spots on its body. Target them when they are vulnerable to neutralize and terminate this... Terminate this enemy. <laughs> terminate. 
Okay, that did some damage. Come on. Damn. That's not what I meant to do. Might have pressed Z hard enough to cause the C button to trigger. He is not leaving himself open. Gotcha! Give me back my morph ball bomb, you little shit. Ball bomb acquired. Um. Oh. still locked. Okay. Not up security station. Structural analysis complete. Statue of Katich, a great hero of Aegon. He was a farmer until Aegon was devastated by the coming of Dark Aether in the Eden. Uh, 
This is a regional energy controller. Unit regulates planetary energy in this sector and is linked to a global energy network. Energy controllers were built by the Luminoth to regulate Aether's planetary energy. Several wonders are powered by the energy controllers, including a weather control grid and a teleportation system. When Dark Aether was born, it too had energy controllers only. I think I read that before at the head station. As complete, this is an access point for the local energy system. The energy transfer module has been designed to interface with it. Once it has all the energy within the module, will be channeled into the local system. Is there not? There was something else to interact with, right? Oh, there we go. Luminos subject terminated 1.5 decacycles ago. Damage from multiple weapon systems detected. Subject definitely went out fighting. Hollow projector online. Automate message initiated. Welcome. I am Isha, sentinel of the Aegon Temple. This message survives my death as guidance to one who would fight the Ing. A portal to Dark Aether lies nearby. With it, you can travel to this land's shadow. You must locate a dark temple, a twisted mockery of this sacred place. Inside, you will find the energy controller you seek. The temple door is held fast by three locks. The keys for the locks are hidden throughout that dark land. Your search will be difficult. Even the very air of Dark Aether is dangerous and can cripple the strongest of warriors. In our past struggles with the Ing, we placed a series of light crystals throughout their world. They remain today. These crystals create safe areas that will protect you from the harmful atmosphere of the dark world. I have updated your transfer module. You can access devices and doors coated with amber holograms. More lands are open to explore. When you have taken the energy from the Dark Temple, return here at once. May the light of Aether serve you well. Energy fully replenished. All right. So now we've got the to-do. And we've got the know-how. Now we just have to execute. I don't have a light beam. Oh, that takes a dark. Oh, shit. Yo, time to go. Oh, you guys came back. Don't feel like being dive bombed today. What? Oh, Lumites. Right, right, right. Yeah, we did see some of those before. But it said they were dangerous when 
They were in shadows because they fire beams of light. Get up there yet. Security door clearance approved. Door systems online. Through vigilance and strength, we create peace. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. Yes, please. I gotta stop being so frugal with my missiles. I need to I need to blast some fools. Make things a little less of a pain. But now I can scan things in amber, so that's good. Get a little more. Shit. So it takes four. But the charge beam is stronger. Come on, man. Dark Pirate Trooper, Darkling Possessed Space Pirate. Enhanced strength and stamina gained from addition of Symbiote Dislikes Bright Light. Pirate Troopers already trained to follow orders without question were perfect candidates for Ying Possession. Darklings moved to take every trooper they could, expanding the army of the Horde considerably. Space Pirate technology struck a chord with the Ying who now hunt actively for gadgetry of any kind, especially weapon systems. Shit. Okay, rapid fire. No bueno. through all of my missiles on those assholes. Jesus. Luminoth Lord translated. A light of Aether. The main energy controller was built in the Great Temple. Three subcontrollers were built in the temples of Torvus, Aegon, and Sanctuary. They collected energy of Aether, then radiated it over the world to all who needed it. In time, we came to call this precious energy the Light of Aether. It brought an age of peace and prosperity to the Luminoth. Ooh. How much is that worth? Ten. Hell yeah. Perfect. Now I don't feel like I fucked up. <laughs> appeared out of nowhere, didn't they? Oh, the cross. 
Okay. Getting moving a little bit. Let me get a drink. A sip of my drink. I have not had that shit since I was like 18. Mm. Mike's Hard, or Mike's Hard Mango. Mm. All right, more buggies. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Pillbug, cave dwelling herbivore, vulnerable to concussion blasts, use them to stun and damage this enemy. Pillbugs prefer to dwell in dark caverns, though they can exist in lit areas navigating with a series of sensitive antenna. They roam through caves in search of moss and fungus. Pillbugs can move rapidly and will ram unwary targets to clear their path as they search for food. A pillbug can be jarred loose from a surface with a concussive blast. Doing so reveals its vulnerable underbelly. Okay. Oh yeah, this is going to be a difficult gameplay because everything takes a lot to kill. Although I think that's going to give this game the edge it needs to make it fresh for me, someone who's played the Metroid Prime Trilogy a few times in the past. This is going to be great. Dark Aether is accessible. Let's see. System analysis complete. Console used to energize and open a portal to Dark Aether currently online. Portal generation system initiated. She's just like, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Samus. Hey. Probably my favorite video game protagonist of all time. I don't know, for her... If, for nostalgia's sake, it's between her and Link, but I think I like Samus more because just a lot more of her emotion shines through in her actions. Well, her attitude shines through in her action. Dark Aether's atmosphere is dangerous. Glowing safe zones protect you from Dark Aether's atmosphere. Blade Pod, living storage units of the Ing Horde. These Ing morphs their bodies around useful items to protect them that rely on larger Ing for protection. So these are actually Ing. It's a living storage pod. These Ing morph their bodies around useful items to protect them. They rely on larger Ing protection as they have no way of fending off enemies. Damage from all weapons will harm them, but light-based weapons are superior. All right. Some safe zones must be shot to function. Shoot sparkling energy nearby to energize the safe zone. 
Xenotech, Luminoth Light Crystal, generates protective field of light energy. Light crystals provide protection from Dark Aether's atmosphere. They can be nullified by dark energy and supercharged by light energy. Light crystals provide protection from Dark Aether's atmosphere. They can be nullified by dark energy and supercharged by light energy. They were created by the Luminoth during their war with the Ing, and many still remain in use. Dark creatures despise the crystals. Some are injured or killed by the field they create. I think I vaguely remember that. Luminoth Light Beacon generates protective field when energized. Light beacons must be energized by beam weapons fired to function and remain charged for a limited time. The beacons were created when the Luminoth ran short of light crystals during the war. While simpler to make, the beacons were also unstable. They had to be energized periodically and could run out of energy at critical moments. Still, any protection was better than none for the Luminoth warriors. But how long does it take? Oh, it starts blinking. Okay. Oh, cool. That should open the door in Light Aether. Transdimensional activity detected. A device has been activated back on Aether. Yep. Okay, it's not. Go, 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 go. Oh, what the f... Inglet, worker drone of the Ing Horde. While crawling, morphing bioform, strongly dislikes bright light. Inglets perform the menial labor of the Horde, but can be pressed into a combat role if there is need. They are amorphous blobs capable of clinging to nearby... To nearly any surface, Inglets can fire bursts of dark matter in self-defense, though they prefer to avoid battle. They seldom travel alone and can be dangerous in large numbers. As with all Ings, they dislike bright light and will avoid it if possible. Ooh, I'm not fucking with them right now. I am severely underpowered. Simple enough. Night Barb, flying airborne hunters native to Dark Aether. Targets are small, but travel in large numbers for safety. Avoid contact. Night Barbs are small airborne darklings, smaller and weaker than the hunter. Ying and Night Barb will travel with a large pack to increase its odds of survival. This is why, since their primary predators are hunter Ying. Okay. So far, we've only seen small fry when it comes to Aang. Actually, no. At the beginning, when we saw Dark Samus, those things that attacked after she shot the crystal... Oh, that scene makes more sense now. Okay. Not going that way. Going this way. Oh shit. Please no. This is him. Woo.
good thing that shield regenerates my health. Oh man, this guy's gonna take a minute. I can shoot them when they're in their slime form. Good to know. Morphology, Lightbringer, Life Generating Forager. Creature generates safe zone while living, immune to most forms of attack. Lightbringers were created by the Luminoth for use in their war with the Ing. The crystalline creatures generate a field of life-giving energy at all times, and they can be energized like a safe zone crystal. They are immune to most weapon fire. Only a burst of matter, antimatter, can destroy them. Why would you want to destroy them, though? Like, it's not gonna fuck up my shit, right? He's just crawling along. There's another portal. Oh boy. Okay. Yay, yay. Oh, cool. You're right there. I did use some missiles in that fight, so give me missiles. Thank you. Oh boy. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Oh, shit. That one looks different. He got hops. Okay. So you have my space jump, right? Jump guardian, space jump powered warrior ing. Yep. Powerful metamorph with the enhanced jump ability is able to generate energy shockwaves and force fields. This warrior ing has absorbed the power of the space jump boots. It can leap incredible Distances and heights and uses this ability to great effect in battle. Target can generate powerful shockwaves of dark energy and will sheath itself in a potent force field to protect itself. It cannot maintain the shield indefinitely. Concentrate fi weapon fire on it when the shield is down.
don't know, was rapid fire the better option? By the way, we're about halfway done with them, so... Oh, the shots are getting faster. He's getting faster. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. Come on. Can I stop running around so much? Damn it. Damn it. Are his shockwave getting shorter? Almost got you. Oh, come on. You were one shot. <sighs> Space jump, please. I love that they brought back the classic you win or yeah the tune from like either before or after a boss fight do, 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 do. space jump boots acquired press B to jump while in still in the air press B again to perform an extra space jump Small data down on the inventory screen. Okay. I'm losing health. Indicates the case that the blast shield is invulnerable to most weapons, a super missile blast. Okay. They went back to green. The super missile. Actually, it's because it's a uh, 
Let's see here. So, oh, we need a dark beam for that door. That goes back to the portal room. So what's this way? Security system initiated. All locks are active. Three keys are required to access the temple. They are scattered throughout the dark Aegon wastes. Right, the keys. The keys needed to open that door. door. Hey, found a key. Dark temple key acquired. One of the three keys needed for the dark temple. Okay. One down, two to go. Looks like that way is pretty locked off. Ooh. That must be the enemy. Nothing. It's a dead door. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, where do we go from here? I mean, Guess I could go back to Light Aether. I don't think I could reach that door yet, or could I? I don't know, we're missing some key things here. going back would be the better option right now. Disappeared quick. Better go, better go. All right, so we got some power ups back at least. Let's go back, explore a little bit, save, and call it a day. Ugh, fuck. My legs fit in cross-legged too much.
Please don't let there be dark pirates waiting on the other side. I hear the pirate theme though. Those guys. Let's see what's on the other side of this door that was down earlier. Ah, a boost ball ramp. Oh. Sweet, five more missiles. Yes, please. And I guess... We're about to be back to a save point right now anyway, so sounds like a good spot to start calling it. In any case... I'm enjoying this. I really am, but I got work tomorrow. Can't be up too late. So I am going to call it here. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Until then, this is Marty signing off here on the Maverick Channel. Be safe. Stay frosty. Peace.